Good morning guys, welcome back to Chris Wong Vlog. So it's currently about seven o'clock in the morning. I'm here in my hotel room in Miami after spending one very comfortable night. Very, very nice sleep at the Holiday Inn here in the Miami West area. It's time to go, all right? So I just got the call now to say that the shuttle to take us crew members to the ship has arrived. Bag, suitcase over here is packed. We are ready to head to Miami port to join Symphony of the Seas for crew sign-on day. It's a busy, busy day today. Lots going on. I'm gonna try and film as much as possible. So this is a real representation of what the crew sign-on process is like for at least Royal Caribbean crew members anyway, when we join a cruise ship at the beginning of our contract. Oh, and following on from yesterday's video, Yes, I was able to spend my night in the hotel room by myself. Another crew member did not come and join me last night, which was very, very nice. I was able to enjoy the whole room uh, for the night on my own. Let's see if my luck continues when I actually get on board the ship to see what crew cabin I'm gonna get. If it's a single share or if it's going to be a shared cabin. Either way, it's gonna be fine. Obviously, I would prefer to have a single share and to have my own space, but it's not the end of the world if I have to share a cabin with someone once again. I have done it many, many times in the past, but uh, yeah, okay, it's getting late now. I better, I better go. Hotel lobby is packed full of crew members. All of us waiting for our shuttle to the port. So now we just got to patiently wait for our driver to arrive. Look at us all ready to go for our contracts. All different jobs here, all different positions on board but we're all going to the same place. All right, let's get a quick shot of all of us crew members. It's funny because when I look around, most people have like two or three luggages oh, and I'm the only one with like one. <laughs> but here's the scenes of sign on day. All of us up early in the morning in the hotel. And we are ready to get the show on the road. It is a glorious day in Miami. Very, very warm for this time of year, I think. And um, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, I think, to get all on this one bus. I hope there's another one because look how many crew members there are. I don't believe this is all just one ship. I think this is a whole bunch. So let's see what the uh, situation is. Yep, as I predicted, bus number two has just arrived. Should be enough room for us all now. And this is what we have to do. Just literally throw our luggage inside and then hop on the bus. So this is the hard part, trying to get everyone's crew luggage inside. It's always a challenge, it's never easy. But managed to get my suitcase in there. All right, let's get on the bus. Okay. Let's see, let's see. All right, this will do me. We made it, Port Miami. All of us have got our luggage now. Took mine off the bus. And now the sign on process begins. New adventure start now. So yeah, the crew drop off is the same as the passenger, uh, passenger boarding as well. So now I guess it's just a waiting game. I think someone from the HR is gonna come come greet us, but here is all the crew members signing on the ship today. Yeah, everyone's Symphony. I thought it was going to be a few ships, but two buses full of crew members for Symphony of the Seas. This is a massive, massive sign-on. And there's a first sight of the ship. Hello, Symphony. Looking huge. All right, I need to uh, start getting my papers and start getting my documents ready to uh, get checked. Oh, it's very, very hot. Okay, okay. So I believe we are going to get antigen tested. Oh, I've got to put my luggage over here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is have our cruise ship medicals checked. Make sure it's in date. And everybody here is just waiting, patiently waiting because we literally have to check one at a time as you can see and the medical team is just the two of them right now two nurses right there antigen testing 
This is a very interesting setup. I'm not really sure what's happening here. Medical documents have been checked. My training safety certificates have also been checked. And we just did a self antigen test. This is what my three stickers on the hoodie are. It shows that I've done all the steps that I need to do. And now there's just one more thing we have to do before we can actually sign and go onto the ship. Unfortunately, I do have to wear this face mask for the next few days at least of my... Uh, I think it's the first five days in total I have to wear a face mask because I am in soft quarantine. I cannot wait for the day this can just go away completely. But um, hey, it is what it is. I've also got my new crew cabin key and my crew ID. So it's all happening. And uh, just a few minutes I'll be getting on the ship. All right, the time has come. Sign on day, Symphony of the Seas. Here we go. Lugging my suitcase onto the ship. Or the new hire, not new hire, or the casino sign on is ready to rock and roll. So here we go once again, contract number eight. Time to head on board. Oh, this is always the hardest part. Getting your suitcase up the gangway. All right, see you later land. Okay, here we go. I-95, Symphony of the Seas. And uh, we're just waiting to be taken to our cabins now. And my first impressions of the ship. Very colorful. I just got to my cabin. My God, can you believe it guys? I got a single share. Yes, Chris Wong got his single cabin. Look, 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 look. Come on, baby. No cabin, mate. Ah, life is good. Life is good. So I will do a proper cabin tour video at some point, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just very happy right now that I have a single share cabin. I mean, all right, let's just give you a quick look. It's uh, like obviously there's things everywhere right now and I will need to settle in and get rid of this suitcase but yes oh to have my own space and it's it's a different layout I don't have to climb onto my bed the, the bed's here and I've got a nice floorboard flat screen TV okay 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 um, very happy with my single cabin taking a walk to work let's see the office for the first time always interesting to see what my home is going to be like for the next seven months Okay, I'm trying to hide everything that's confidential so you don't see it. Hello, hello. 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 Oh. Here we go. Yes. Seeing the casino for the first time. Very colorful, very bright. Oh, here's one of my desks. Over here. This is where I'm going to be. This is where I will be stationed. <laughs> Here it is, my new office. Club Royale Casino host. Very nice. You can't see it, it says it right there, there's a sign. The, sc the screen is changing the lighting. Yep, very big, spacious. Okay, I can see myself working here for the next, <laughs> for the next whole of my contract. This is where you'll find me. So for anyone who's going to be on Symphony of the Seas, come to the casino on deck. What deck are we on? Uh, deck four. And yeah, I can see myself being very happy here. The smell of smoke's actually not too bad. Here we go, here we go. So right now, all of us who have just signed on, we're just exploring, checking out all of the fire exits and everything as well. Fire this safety, important information. We have to know where all the fire extinguishers are, all the safety exits, etc. All right, so we're just exploring the ship now, uh, but I do have training to do. And we are gonna check out the crew mess. I'm not really sure what I'm allowed to film in the crew mess. I'm still working on that. Yeah, the ship's beautiful. Very nice. I think I actually like this better than Wanda. That's just 
that's just what I'm thinking right now, but I haven't been around the whole ship yet. When a new crew member signs on the ship, they all have to do what's called a pre-departure safety training. And that is what we are going to head to right now. Luckily for me, it's in the theatre. So that's where... Ah, oh, here we go. I was, I was just on Wonder of the Seas. You would think I know where everywhere is. Where's the rest of my team? Here we go. Alright, so we're rushing right now because I think training's already started. Ah, here we are. Royal Theatre. I hope you could hear me through all of that talking. So this is where the crew members are going to do pre-departure safety training. This is mandatory. More than 70%, so we decided, okay, it is going to be back in the classroom, this time in the theatre, because we have approximately 130 persons signed up today, okay? Back in the cabin, training complete, and now I can actually just rest and relax for a little bit before I start my shift at work, because, uh, yeah, like I mentioned in my previous videos, no more quarantine period now. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to miss that. Being able to relax in a balcony stateroom for two weeks before starting was definitely nice. But yeah, no messing about now. We're going straight to work. So I'm going to start trying to rearrange my cabin a bit, start putting my clothes in the wardrobe. Obviously I need to pull out the uniform I'm going to wear tonight. Okay, job number one is done. I've just made my bed, uh, put the pillowcases on the pillows, duvet is done. However, the a crew member who was living in this cabin before me did not leave me a sheet for the mattress so I have to now go out and look for one of those. One more job to do now, a little annoying but it is what it is. Now I'm gonna make an attempt to try and put some of my clothes, which my suitcase is open, on my bed and I'm gonna have to try and figure out my wardrobe situation. So this is what I'm looking right now. First of all I apologize for my terrible attempt at making the bed but yeah the blue's a nice color for the for the duvet I put the gray pillowcases on for the pillows i mean we don't get the choice of color so unfortunately uh yeah, the blue and the gray bed theme will have to do i mean if, if i really want to i can go out and buy my own bed sheets but uh yeah let's try and figure out how i'm going to get some of these clothes now into this wardrobe which is quite spacious actually very spacious for a uh, for a crew cabin in fact there's a there's a lot of things i love about this cabin and there's a lot of things i don't like so when i do my full cabin tour video for this contract um i'm gonna list everything but yeah look at the wardrobe space i mean what's this oh it's, it's a desk and then another oh my fridge very nice Okay, like I said, a crew cabin tour video is coming very, very soon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's a bit later on in the day now and I am ready for my first shift at work for my new contract. Got myself a new suit, navy waistcoat. Not a bad look and this is a new tie as well. This is, um, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, it's champagne colour. Sounded quite interesting to me when I saw it online, but... Yes, here we go. Do I look like a respectable casino host once again? I think so. I'm trying to avoid showing you my bed at the moment. You can see it here. This, my cabin's a mess, all right? I didn't really get time to tidy it because I kind of had a nap. I was feeling very tired. I think jet lag is also catching up with me, but here we go again. Time to go back to work, get back on the grind, and um, let's have a let's have a good first day. Four, three, Two, one, go! There we go, faster, faster! Go Douglas, Cheryl! Good job Patricia, keep going, keep going! All right, Brett, nice job, Shannon, let's go! Jerry, don't slow down. Just another day in the life of Chris Wong. Slot tournament is in full swing. Right there. 
30 seconds. Okay, here we go. 10. Good morning guys, welcome to a new day and it's very early in the morning, it's about, what time did I set my alarm for, I forgot now. Oh, it's currently nearly 7.30 in the morning and uh, I actually have training this morning. Uh, it's very important training, this is a mandatory for all crew members, again no matter how long you have done ships, no matter how many contracts you've done, every time you join a new ship you have to do this uh, security training safety and security so we're basically going to be given a tour around the ship by one of the safety officers and we're gonna locate where some of the different types of fire doors are watertight doors uh, fire extinguishers we're gonna basically just go over all sorts of safety and security you know potential issues that we would have to know. I mean, this is important information. At the end of the day, if there is a situation on board, it's going to be us crew members who are going to be, well, effectively saving your life. So this is always, um, yeah, it's a, it, it's a quite a lengthy, long training process. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to really show you or share the information that's going to be told today. It's for us crew members only, but I am going to try and show just some clips here and there of the actual walking tour around um, certain parts of the ship. Your first week on board as a crew member, there is a lot of trainings that you have to do. Whether you're a new hire or a returning crew member, uh, these training sessions tend to last throughout the, the whole week. And originally everything was online. So when the restart happened, uh, because of social distancing, a lot of this training had moved online, but we're at a point again where we are safe enough to actually have face-to-face -face trainings in the classrooms and in large groups again. So anyway, I'm waffling on now and I, I, I really need to start getting ready for work or for training. so it is now officially the end of the week I have survived my first cruise on board 
uh, Symphony of the Seas, my first cruise of the contract, and it feels, you know, very nice. I can say that I've settled in now. I have all of my belongings put away in the crew cabin, and I can honestly say this is definitely the best crew cabin I have ever stayed in. So please watch out for my crew cabin tour video. I feel very settled in on board the ship as well. I've got very used to Symphony of the Seas. It does feel, I'll be honest, a little weird being back at work at this moment in time, at this point in my life. I do have a lot of mixed feelings right now. For those of you who know, I was very convinced last year was going to be my last contract as a crew member. So I don't know, this week it felt a little strange just sort of being back getting into the routine of work again but you know um, I'm here now it's it, it is what it is and I'm here to make the most of it this should be a very nice contract and let's let's see what happens um, let's just see what happens I'm only I can only take it one day at a time one cruise at a time so with that being said thank you so much for watching today's video guys um, I didn't intend for this video to be so long I didn't know I was gonna put a whole week's worth of footage into one vlog uh, my schedule is actually pretty hectic on Symphony of the Seas like the ship is so busy the casino is very busy and I'm working my butt off every single day so at this point I can't really guarantee like how many videos I'm gonna be able to put up a week if I'm even gonna be able to post up one video a week all I'm gonna say is I am going to film as much as possible and post when I can that is the best I can do I apologize if that's not good enough but hey <laughs> what else can I do so in the meantime, comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next cruise ship video. I've been Chris Wong. See you later.